Oh my god, people. I'm not even kidding. So I just wanted to come on here very short before that you guys are going to see my walk to just take a hello raven. Well, you're going to see why the raven is a sign later on in this video. But this full moon, it's actually interesting that I choose to take a walk the day that we have a full moon because it is all about stepping out of your comfort zone it's all about doing something new and you jumping out of your comfort zone actually brings you rewards that is what this video is going to show you guys because i found something in the middle of the forest after i had my way through uh, a lot of things again you're going to see that oh the neighbor's dog are going uh, crazy but this full moon is about caring for ourselves. It's about nourishing ourselves. It's this mother energy like I spoke about. And while I was walking, you're also going to hear me say that. I was listening to Vanessa's full moon video. And she said a lot of things where I was like, damn, it all makes so much sense. Because she also mentioned this mother energy. She mentions a lot of good things that make sense. So I would recommend, you know, you watching it. But she mentioned something about that we are letting go of our past vows that we have made in a past life. Whatever is holding us back from growth, love, and us expressing ourselves. So how crazy is this <laughs> full moon energy? It's all coming together. And I did something for myself, you know, it is nourishing for me to take a walk and I found a little piece of a forest that I explored, you know, it felt so good. I felt so accomplished after and when I was back home, I was like, why have I been so afraid of doing this? Because I feel I felt so safe and secure. I don't know why. I think again, it might have been a past life fear of mine to go out there and be on my own or you know explore by myself and it actually just it gave me this push to explore more maybe even push myself to do a solo tra solo travel you know because that's something i fear <laughs> i like to be around people but <laughs> i don't like to be by myself and you know <sighs> when it comes to traveling so you know obviously I want to travel. I want to explore. That is what I want. That is what I want my life to be about. So I did the first step today. Even today was just, this, you know, a little walk, exploring a little piece of unknown land, unknown forest. I did it. And you can do it as well. So look out for signs in this video and I will talk to you guys later. Good morning, Shibis. Oh, they are adorable. So I'm trying to take a walk. <laughs> I'm doing it, people. And this little one. While I'm listening to Vanessa's new astrology full moon video. I will link it up here. Random things that you find. What? Is that? So as you guys can see, it's just a long road that you're walking on. But I might try to take that way. Oh my god, people, I'm walking. What the hell? All right, so I have to walk on this so I don't walk on the road. I think I remember that is a road that goes into the forest, so I will try. The other road that I actually wanted to go on is a private owned road, so I'm not gonna walk that way. So let's see. 
So then we're going to meet Moon Moon. <laughs> because this is the area that he's running around in. All right, people, I found the road. So I was walking down there before. I actually remember that as a kid, me and someone else from the neighborhood built like a little cave, not a cave, but we had like a hiding spot down here where we put a lot of things. Obviously, that's many years ago, so it's probably not here anymore. And I don't know if this is private. I have no clue. Oh, huh. just forest. Well, we are exploring, right? <laughs> I do have my high boots on. I don't know how well thought out that was. But let's just try to walk a bit more. But it is nice to just get out. Okay. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> there is this little path. But I actually don't think it leads to anywhere. Can you guys believe that I'm out alone? Ooh, feather. Oh, there's nettles. See, I knew I should have taken my cards. should have taken a machete or something. <laughs> I'm trying to just stamp it all. I wonder what this is. The struggle is real. Oh my god. But it's actually a very beautiful area. If it wasn't for, you know, the nettles that I have to stamp. I could totally do readings here. Eee! I see berries. Oh my god, people. I'm not even kidding. Can you guys see what I see? It's a white feather. If there's, that is not a sign that I needed to do this. And look at this beautiful tree. I mean, yes, I know it's old, but see, it's beautiful. And again, we found. Look what I want to. We found a white feather. Listen, I've always been afraid of doing this by myself. Always. Oh, look at this moss. And here I am, stepping out of my comfort zone. Finding this beautiful spot. I mean, yeah, it is a bit trash, but... Beautiful. It goes down to the highway, a motorway, whatever you call it. But no, 
Mm. Is it Moon Moon who ate something here? More feathers. I should have taken something to drink. Okay, I'm just walking, okay? <laughs> it feels like a little pocket of, you know, untouched forest. And it kind of looks like a pathway down here. I should have taken other shoes on, definitely. Look at this tree. So over. Another feather. Look at that. Oh, man. Awesome. <laughs> oh, those nettles. I have noticed that sometimes Moon Moon crosses that road. I don't like that. She's a little rebel. She is. Okay. <sighs> I just wanted to see what this is. Listen, something inside of me is like, oh, you need to go back. <laughs> and something else is like, Sandra, take us up together. <laughs> We're following the feathers. Take us up together. You are exploring. But I didn't eat any breakfast, so I'm also hungry. Can you guys hear? There's a lot of things. <sighs> oh my god, what is this? Okay. That's barely holding on. So much quietness here. And a stick just here. <laughs> Hello, Mother Nature. Hello, tree. Look at the moss. There is a, what do you call that? A nest up there. Hmm. I kind of think I need to go back the other way around where I came from. But I feel like there's something wrong with my shoes, so I'm just going to take a pit stop. All right, I'm making my way back. Again, I need food. <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> my phone is also about to die, so I will put on Vanessa <laughs> again and I will walk back. See you guys later. So this is also to show you guys that you can accomplish whatever you want. There's no limits. But I will see you guys later. Bye. Whew, I got through. The nettles again. There's no bumps in the road. 
<laughs> no matter if, not even if it stings. You know, you can walk through it. And some, so many symbolic meanings. I'm sorry if I sound like I'm out of breath, but listen. Woo! I'm not used to this. It is beautiful with this dirt road and the trees aligning on the sides. On the road again. I just walked past someone who was running, so I felt less alone. <laughs> Look, I think they have chickens. My brother just wrote to me, was it you who were out walking? <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> Look at the raven. One thing that Shiva told me when I wanted to walk, she was like, we are always with you. We are following you and walking with you. And we all know that, si that birds are signs from spirit guides. I wonder if Moon Moon is here somewhere. Moon Moon! Oh, it would have been so fun when she just suddenly popped up from nowhere in the forest. Back at the pond, you can see the, the birdhouse. <laughs> Almost back. Hello again. Baby Shibby. A goat. I am actually unsure what they are. <laughs> it's just freaking out. It's like, oh, she's back. Meh. <laughs> Meh. Meh. It's like not interested. Hello, baby. It's like, but I'm actually interested. But I don't know if I want to. <laughs> but thank you guys for walking with me. Now I'm going to go inside and eat something. <laughs> <laughs>